Number 28. What are the sign and magnitude of a point charge that produces a potential of negative 2 volts at a distance of 1 millimeter? All right, so here's the charge. We don't know what it is. We know, though, that the distance from that charge is going to be 1 millimeter. In other words, the radius here, right? Check out number 25 and go through this in a little much more detail. Uh, not tremendously, so don't be afraid. It's not like a, you know, hour-long video. Um, but the radius here is going to be 1 times... 10 to the uh, minus 3 meters. And then over here, they tell us that the voltage here, they give us specifically now. So once they start talking like specifically about signs and magnitudes, you got to just be very careful, okay? The voltage here is negative 2 volts. So this is no different than what we looked at before, that the voltage produced by a point charge at a certain distance from it is going to be equal to the electrostatic constant K multiplied by the charge itself that's producing the voltage at that distance, divided then by the distance between the charge and the point at which we're measuring or we know or we can find or whatever uh, the voltage. All right. So the voltage here is negative two, right? The electrostatic constant is going to be nine times 10 to the minus ninth. The charge is what we're looking for Q and the radius then is going to be one times 10 to the minus three. Now notice what I can do here, right? To solve this, basically all I now need to do, I'm going to copy it. Okay. Look at how easy the math is. I mean, do these little simple tricks, cross multiplication tricks. Bring this diagonally out of the denominator like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Put your little parenthesis around that so you don't think it's a subtraction. Bring this out of the numerator on the right, down into the denominator on the left. Notice how I'm just cross multiplying, basically. And that's it. Leave Q alone. You just solve for it. It's that simple. And what is this equal to? So we're going to take 1 times 10 to the minus 3, multiply by negative 2, divided by then 9 times 10 to the 9th. And what sign do you get now? So now we get a negative 2.22. How many sig figs? I guess 3. 2.22 times 10 to the minus 13th. And that now is in terms of whatever the heck we saw for. Charge. So coulombs. And there you go. All right. So that's actually the charge will be negative. All right. The reason being is because the potential is negative. A lot of times they don't really give you the charge or they ask specifically for the sign and stuff like that. So it's safe to just use the magnitude. Okay. Uh, but in this problem, once they start talking about, well, what's the sign and the magnitude, you got to be very careful. Okay. With the signs of then the voltage. If you notice in the formula here, there are no absolute values. So therefore technically we should be plugging in signs, but you know, whatever. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to smash that like button and um, even subscribe. All right. That'd be awesome. And we appreciate it so very much. We're very humbled at uh, the fact that we are hopefully able to provide some help. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you.